Your nurses and physical therapists report that you're making good progress. Looks like you're almost ready to take that new hip and go home where you belong. Really? really? Already. Your father is at a particularly high risk for post-surgically induced clinical depression, which would only exacerbate his current symptoms of anxiety. David, recovering from serious surgery is a daunting process. And for your father, facing that long road ahead can lead to feelings of anxiety and depression. The good news is there are trained professionals waiting to help him and you. In my experience, utilizing the services of the right home health care agency can be invaluable. How would that work with my father's lifestyle, though? What I mean is our religious practices are central to our lives and extremely important to him. Just the idea that he might be late for prayers at synagogue can upset him. So can you suggest a, an agency that would be sensitive to our needs? We've had great experiences with AmeriCare. They have aides and nurses who are accustomed to work with members of your community. They are trained in Shabbos and kosher. Many even understand some Yiddish. Hey, ma'am, let me help you with that. Oh, thank you, young man. So kind of you. I actually have an interview lined up for tomorrow morning at, uh, at AmeriCare, that home health care agency I was telling you about. Yep, yep, one of the best in the country. Okay. Well, I'm actually very impressed. You seem motivated, you have very good people skills, and you seem to be sensitive to the needs of others, which is an extremely important quality in our caregivers. Carlos from America. Nice to meet you. Thank you. You have a lovely home, Mr. Jacobson. I look forward to spending time here. Carlos, you and my father are going to be getting pretty close. Might as well call him by his first name. Teshi. Mr. Jacobson will do fine for now. I mean, to call me Mr. Jacobson. He, he's not from around here, is he? She examined the incision site, but by then he was already fine and back to his regular kvetching. He is not even in any pain. It was just a scare. Just imagine if he'd been alone. I can't thank you enough, Carlos. If we didn't know it before, now we can really feel confident about Taz's care. Carlos has been a lifesaver, but I feel like it's time to assess how much longer Ta needs a full-time home health aide. Before we eat, I'd like to welcome everyone to this beautiful Suda. Javi, I'd like to thank you for this marvelous feast and having everybody here. The Eideklach, the people who've helped me through a very rough time. Nurse Sarah, Yossi, and of course, Carlos. New, Machalachayim. You're a really good kid. Heshi, you don't have to say anything. Uh, Shah, still. Please, let me finish, Carlos. I know I've put you through a lot these last few months. And for a while, honestly, I, I didn't think you'd last. But you surprised me. You got me through a schrecklich at times. Ah, Heshi, stop your Michigan. <laughs> Michigan.
So many things go into caring for a patient, a lot of details and clinical issues. But the essence of care is relationships, and that's AmeriCare's tradition of caring.